Hello and welcome back to this follow-up video. So in the previous one, we installed OpenFone uh, 2406, the ESI version. And this version comes with many models, actions, but there is one very interesting one, which is related to PETC. Okay, it's a fantastic library for linear algebra high performance. So let me show you how to install that. So just to remind you that we're working with OpenSUSE 15.5. So if you're using this version, follow the steps and everything should compile with no problems. Also, if you follow previous videos, okay, this is an incremental series of videos. So if you follow previous videos, the, the, the installation should, should be straightforward. So at this point, you can stop watching the video and just do the installation. Everything will work. But if you want to watch again the, the instructions, okay, hold on. So just to go here a little bit, just to, to remind you that uh, open phone, the ESA version comes with many optional components. We're interested in this one in uh, Petsy. Okay, and well, there you have a few options and so on. So it's a little bit, the, the instructions here is a little bit messy, not easy to follow, but you can get your way around. So let me, let, let me show you our step. So the previous video, we installed open phone, everything went fine. And now we are in this part. So basically these are the steps. They do work out of the wall, the box, so you shouldn't have any problem. So we will download uh, this open uh, this Petsy version. I think it's the latest one, and then just make Petsy to compile. It will do this, okay? And be careful here because if you use Petsy for for something else, avoid to have to load Petsy in your bash RC, like in my case, I'm not loading automatically, so I do the loading manually. And also be careful that sometimes you might want some other options. So basically running this command will compile like this, but it might be the case that you want something else. So this can be, uh, can be configured as you like. Okay, so be careful about this. So very important, and let me go back to show you that in my body, uh, I'm not loading pet, pet C. Okay. And the issue, as I mentioned that I use it for something else. So I do the loading, uh, manually. Okay. So be careful of that in mind. So at this point, let's go and install pet C. So follow the steps here. So the first one, we move to this directory. So this should be fast then here. So it's one here when you go here and you type Let's see, will it give you this problem now? Okay, you need to download, copy that line. We'll download Petsy, and then you, as usual, you need to extract it. You extract there, and so you look at your directory structure, you should have it somewhere there. And at this point, we can click here. Okay, get it here, put it there, and off you go. So it will do the compilation, it should be straightforward. So here at the beginning, you see what it's doing by default. Remember that this can, can be changed, you can use your own options. So at this point, let's wait for the compilation, that is, should be fast. Okay, so I'm back and there you go. Fast compilation, everything went fine. At this point, we have a PETC install. So look at, pay attention now the location where you have, this will be your, the, the path that you need to use for open phone. As I say, if you're using Petsy for something else and you have different setup, now you configure in a different way, you will need to load that now using those options. So be careful about that. So in your cases, you don't have it, you don't use it for anything else, you are okay, good to go. So at this point, we compile Petsy. You have it there. Now we need to go back to the open for installation of source code. You have this model directory and we need to compile that plugin. Okay. So here, external solvers and there you go. So this is, be careful about this. You need to put this, uh, you need to add this flag here, open phone and you go there and it will go ahead and compile open, uh, the, the, <clears throat> the, 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 the solver. 
the plugin. So it compiled everything so far fine. At this point, we want to use this one. So we're ready to go. But this one needs to be linked to, to OpenFlow. And this is a step that you have to be careful. So from now on, if you are going to use uh, this model, you need to load your library. So in this case, you have it in, this is location in my installations. You have it somewhere else. So put it there. Also be careful about this option. When you install, they're set automatically. So be careful. So in this case, if you're using our, our virtual machine, nothing, everything should, should work with no problem. And there you go. I load everything. And at this point before running, we need to be sure that we're loading pet c let's see and there you go can load pet c so if you redo this one and you don't load this pet c path it will give you a problem okay it will tell you here will give you some warning so you just need to load that so at this point we have pet c we compile the model and then and now we can move and run the tutorials okay so at this point let's go to the tutorials we have it here and let's say let's go to basic let's run this one uh, let's run this flange and uh, let me go on and a small case and there you go so you move some files but what is interesting i want to show you the level of the solver so see that running now is loading pet c so it's not using the standard solver for open fun linear algebra Okay, for crunching numbers using pet C, which is a highly efficient uh, linear algebra solver. So a little bit just to show that you go and then probably I can more details in another video. Step forward, remember you set linear algebra solution and there you go. So here now you are exposing the solver pet C with all the options. So pet C have a lot of options, a lot of different solvers, preconditioner, and so on. So everything exposed here and well here, just go crazy with all the options. I work a lot on that. So it's very interesting you now what you can do there. And remember that also you go in control D and here you need to load Petsy phone. No, the plugin that we compile compiled previously you load there remember to run your cases and everything always you need to load the location of the library that you use be careful if you have more than one pet c because it can give you problems you need to know what to load precisely so at this point pretty much we're done so i hope you found this useful let me do some cleaning okay because i need to this and the file that I want to show you that also here you have this file there that I put it just this is specific now for for pet C. So basically here you have the instructions. So basically type this to know if pet C is exposed to the whole open phone environment. So remember you need to load open phone, then you need to load this and if you if this doesn't give you a problem you are ready to go and you can use now petsy solvers to do all your simulations and so on okay so i think i'm done with this video thank you very much for attention and hope to see you next time bye